What a piece of junk. She'll make point five past light speed. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. I've made a lot of special modifications myself. Hey everyone, Frank here again with another YouTube video and basically in this one I didn't really record the commentary live um, but essentially all I'm doing is updating the BIOS on my ThinkPad T420 since I'm in the process of getting ready to do a CPU upgrade and I saw that some people in ThinkPad forums were reporting that they had issues you know going from an i5 to an i7 if their BIOS was you know like never updated so that's pretty much what I'm doing here in this video I found this very useful article which I'll link below if you're looking to do an update for yourself um, so yeah for the most part I'm just downloading the uh, CD-ROM update extracting the actual uh, bootloader image from or extracting the bootloader from the image and then basically burning that into my USB uh, key or drive or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, as you saw, uh, basically my BIOS hadn't been updated since the laptop was released, I think in 2011. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm doing this basically. Um, here you saw that I downloaded the uh, ISO image, which was around 37, 38 megs. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but right after I downloaded it, I'm basically installing you the utility that will extract the information needed from that ISO uh, file. And again, I'll be linking the article in the description below for sure. Um, so yeah, copy and paste mode pretty much here. Uh, so yeah, paste. At this point, I'm just, you know, replacing the file name and output file name parameters. I just called it t420.img and uh, ran it pretty much. Finished fairly quickly. And then from here, it's basically where it's USB, uh, it's USB key time. I did end up checking the file size and it was about 37 megs. So yeah, awesome. So after plugging in the USB, I basically just ran the command to check my block devices and I saw that, you know, 16 gigs, that's the size of my USB key. So now I'm basically going to use the dd command to go ahead and copy the image that I extracted from the CD-ROM ISO and into the uh, USB. You really want to be careful in this part because uh, if you definitely choose the wrong block device then you can essentially corrupt you know, your primary hard drive or whatever. So definitely double check that block size that you're going to use in the uh, output file parameter for sure because if you're not careful you can definitely destroy or overwrite something that you do not want so yeah words of caution article pretty much says the same thing so yeah watch out for that and here you see me pretty much run it, it didn't take that long um, so let's go ahead and plug this back in and update our bias
So apparently I got lucky and did not break my ThinkPad. But it was definitely stuck at that previous screen for like, literally I left it running overnight, so. But yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for watching. That was basically one of my first, you know, non-live commentaries or whatever. So if it sucked, I'm sorry. If not, then give the video a thumbs up. It helps out the channel. Thank you.